So, if you follow me on this channel, you know that I recently did my first $1,000 PC build. Now, what I did not do in that video was showcase the final product, my setup, and the benchmarks. In this video, we're going to do exactly that, starting with the setup. Now, this build features a Core i5-12600K CPU, RTX 3060 GPU, Corsair Vengeance 32 gigs RAM, Deepku AG400 CPU cooler, MSI Motor Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard, Antex NX270TG case, Deepku PK700 power supply, and Kumen RGB fans and hub. For the monitor, I have the Redmi G24 monitor, which I reviewed on the channel. The mouse is the Logitech MX Master 3S, which I also reviewed on the channel. And the keyboard is the Logitech K835 TKL, also reviewed it on the channel. And my temporary audio solution is the Orimo Tilt, which I also reviewed on this channel. Now, after using this PC for about a month now, I can definitely say that it is fast. Definitely a major upgrade from my 2011 iMac. Do I have any disappointments with this build? Certainly not. Except for maybe the AG400 CPU cooler. Not in terms of performance, but in terms of the RGB lights. The fact that it's not addressable makes it out of sync with the RGB lights on the rest of the PC. If only I added a few more dollars, I would have bought a better cooler. Now, in the comments of my PC build video, some folks were saying, why did I settle for the RTX 3060 instead of going for the 4060? Well, it boils down to the VRAM. Whilst the 4060 is slightly powerful in terms of performance, the 3060's 12 gigabytes of VRAM helps me a lot in terms of video editing. I will not be using this PC for gaming, at least for now. So, how fast is this PC in terms of performance? We ran a few benchmarks to test out exactly that. Starting off in Blender, for the Monster, Junk Shop and Classroom GPU tests, this PC came with an overall benchmark score of 2236.16, placing it right in the mid-range category of computers out there. In that 23 to 30 percent percentile of PCs, running the same tests with the Core i5-12600K CPU yielded an overall score of 190.30. Now moving on to the Puget Benches DaVinci Resolve standard test using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. The PC yielded a standard overall score of 1,567, once again placing itself in that mid-tier of computers out there. In the Premiere Pro Puget Bench benchmark scores, this Core i5-12600K and RTX 3060 build yielded a standard score of 6,245, once again placing it in the mid-tier of computers in terms of performance. Now running the Blackmagic RAW speed test shows that this PC can theoretically handle 8K B-RAW at 30 frames per second video editing. Now benchmarks is one thing. How does this PC perform in the real world? Now on the timeline, I have a 4K 30fps project. Right now I want to see the playback performance. Uh, let's just this the is the Orimo Tilt, a $30 budget okay. Bluetooth speaker. See on and off button. So if you love playing around water, you under fifty dollars, except for okay. So yes, scrubbing performance is not the best. Uh, now let's see if we can uh, render this project and see. Uh, what do I call this? Four K render test, right? Uh, I'm going to add it to the render queue and uh, see render it and see uh, how fast it takes to render. Uh, I'll also bring up the task manager and see the performance. As you can see, most of the work is, done, is being done by the CPU, which is working at 100%. Also, the uh, dedicated GPU, the RTX 3060, is also handling some of the work, like it's handling around maybe 73% of the work. The iGPU is not doing 
anything at all. There's zero percent. So most of the work is being done by the CPU and the dedicated GPU. So let's see how fast this takes to render. So the project managed to render in five minutes, eight seconds. Now I'm sure if you're using the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, the times would actually be quicker. Now let's see if we can run the same test in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. All right, so let's see the timeline performance in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, starting with the playback. This is the Orimo Tilt, a $30 budget blue. Okay, it's playing smooth. She will also inform but it lacks clarity. Here's Play a sample of what the audio sounds like. It's, it's actually playing quite smooth, I have to say. Get more or less. Because I like the versatility. Exactly. Let's see if we can just maybe scrubbing. <laughs> Performance is actually quite good. Um, it's actually quite good. Uh, I, mean, I think it's actually way better than it was doing in uh, DaVinci Resolve. Now let's see if we can export this and uh, see how long it will take to export. Okay, uh, not gonna change much and before. So let's export the project and let's bring up the task manager and see what is doing the heavy lifting. Now, as you can see, the CPU, uh, it's uh, working around uh, 36, maybe to around 46%, it's working. But most of the work is being done by the RTX 3060 GPU and also the iGPU is working as well. Now, uh, since we're using the free version in DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure you're not going to get the same uh, results. But here it looks like uh, the CPU, the iGPU and the dedicated GPU is also carrying the load, which is making the render even faster. Let's see how long it will take to render. So it looks like the whole project has finished rendering in under two minutes. Nice to see that the CPU, the iGPU, and the dedicated GPU were working. Um, just waiting for it to complete right now. In conclusion, this setup is perfect for my current workflow at the moment. Now, if you do some light 4K video editing, then it's perfect for you. Or maybe you want to do some 1080p gaming, then this setup is perfect for you. But anything more than that, you might need to look elsewhere. Anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.